with over 14,000 views in two videos combined. You guys obviously want to know more about the catchy bug traps. Videos are not sponsored and I don't even know if Ketchy knows who I am. But I purchased my first Ketchy, the original, a year ago. What do I think about the two now? You can see the Ketchy original is a little bit taller than the Ketchy Duo. So I don't know if that would make a difference to you if you're talking it underneath of a kitchen counter and you're limited on space. This one is definitely shorter. That also means that the size of the fans are a little bit different. Ketchy says they are not meant to catch flies. I catch flies in the original. I do not catch flies in the duo. Now another difference with the duo is the little top that goes on here that you can actually add any type of scents if you want to. Do not recommend filling it just with a fluid and putting it right over top of the fan. To me, that seems a little bit dangerous in case it leaks. So I still think soaking it with a cotton ball would be your best choice or your best option. I am not using this. Now I'd like to point out the difference in the plugs. One of the questions that you guys had was the voltage and they are 120 volts. The Ketchy Duo, unless they have changed it since I purchased mine seven months ago, comes with a normal standard plug where the Ketchy Original comes with a USB charger cord. I still prefer that the Ketchy Duo is plugged into the back where the Ketchy Original is off on the side. Now let's talk about price. Catchy Original is running around 45 to 48, unless you can find it on sale or it's on a lightning deal on Amazon. The Catchy Duo is still sitting around $52.99 or around that $50 mark. They both use a UV light. This one does seem to be a little bit brighter. Initially, I thought this one was. When I just have them in the dark, this one seems brighter. But it keeps its dark color, its dark blue color the whole time it's on, where this one has that slow fade up and down of light. Now, if you want a full comparison on the two of these, please check out the other videos. I will have them linked at the end and I will pin them in the top comment of this video. Do they catch mosquitoes? Yes, they catch mosquitoes. They catch pretty much everything. I haven't found anything that isn't attracted to the blue UV lights. Another one of your questions was the dust that is on the top. I have noticed this one tends to get a little more dust build up because it's so open where this one has obviously a little bit of a top but to take care of your dust problem there are two things that you can do buy yourself an inexpensive air can and blow it out you could also take a damp washcloth or paper towel and just wipe them off they have not really been that dirty or a problem for me to clean now comes the question you all want to know does the Duo work as well as the original? Let's take a look at the pads that are in here. With the Ketchy original, there is a button on the side and your door just falls open. That's how you're gonna get to your pad. I put this pad in here about a week ago. There's no place to pick this pad up. You just have to grossly find a spot to stick your finger maybe and get it to stick and you can take it out. Let's take a look at this pad. Now let's look at the pad inside of the Duo. This is one thing that I absolutely love about the Duo is that it has a door that slides out, but the actual trap pad is much, much smaller than the original. This one is going to catch more just because of the size of the pad. So you might find yourself with the Duo changing out the pad more often. But getting it out again, it's just easier to put your finger on there and pull it out.
When you order these, they do come with some starter pads, usually around three to four in each packet, but you will want to get more. Make sure you're always giving it about two to three days before you really determine if they're working or not. And I leave a pad in until it's gross and full. As long as there's room for them to stick, they will not get back out. There's no way for them to go back up and escape. So at some point, their little feet are gonna stick on that pad. Now, since Ketchy came out on to the market, there have been a lot of competition that's kind of popped up and I've noticed you can get off brand replacement pads. I've never used those, so I cannot attest if they work. Now for the replacement of the original, and you're just gonna take this, peel it off, lift this up, and you have to try and get it to stick in there and close it back up on the Ketchy Dubo. It has a peel here spot, drop it right in the drawer, and slide it in. Now, two more things that I have experienced. The Catchy Original, you have to turn on and off yourself. So when you go to bed at night, you're gonna have to hit the button, turn it on, walk away, and let it run. With the Duo, it has the little night vision light on here, and as soon as the room gets dark, it turns on itself. This one, I don't have to put any thought into. This one, I have to manually turn on in the evenings and shut it off in the morning. Now, the last point that I wanna make that I think everyone needs to be aware of is the sound. This one still has this weird high pitch humming sound. And it just annoys my ears. It drives my ears bonkers. The duo on the other hand, I don't even notice this one. So Angie, the biggest question is, which one do I buy? I sadly really can't tell you. <laughs> I wish I had a really good answer. It just depends on if you want a bigger fan surface, a bigger sticky pad surface, and you're not gonna mind if yours has that high pitched fan noise, or do you want something that you can put it in the corner, set it, forget it, go back a month later, and then change out the pads, then I would say definitely go with the duo. But as you can see, they both work. And I want to again thank you for watching the video reviews of the Ketchy. If you're new to the channel, check out some of the other videos. Maybe hit the subscribe button if you're interested. And we'll catch you on the next one.